videos late, and it's because I had a Friday night, and I think that's allowed. Besides, John, you didn't update yours until 3 o'clock in the morning last night, so I don't feel so bad. I rewarded myself tonight with two new shirts. Congratulations, us! We're at the end of our first week. We've put up our, our, our food journals every day, and usually when I'm watching, that is the first thing to go, is my food journal. And I know that it's the thing that helps the most, so go figure. We're finding ways to fit this into our lives, even the vlogging and the, and the writing things down. It's really not taking me more than 20 minutes on vlog day, which is really nice. This week was a little weird for me because I had friends visiting during the first week of a, uh, of a fitness regime. I didn't I didn't go to the, ac the actual gym proper, which I'm gonna start doing next week. I just need to get my kind of post new year life in order. I love the community that's growing at fittingitin.com. Holy cow, there's like, there's over 250 people. They're gonna be more next week because we talked about it on Pottercast this week. You're, you guys are offering each other tips and inspiration and you're joining each other's, each other's um, channels. This community is growing so fast and with such heart and we're so excited. I don't know if I've lost anything. I don't really feel like I have, and usually I can tell. I'm gonna make Monday my check-in day. I'm not gonna weigh until Monday, or at least if I do weigh, I'm not gonna believe it. Cause I, I believe I believe in kind of checking in during, during the week. I know you're only supposed to weigh yourself like once a week, but I think that's kind of BS. For somebody like me who knows that she can gain two pounds in a week, it's a good idea to check every couple days. Okay, so it is also question Friday, so I'm gonna look through the YouTube channel and pick out your questions. Griffy Girl asked, is Wompy still fitting it in or is he too busy currently? Wompy's on tour and I told him that I would love for him to do a video on this channel now and again, like an extra. He's on tour makes a daily or even every other day really hard and I don't know if he's sticking to anything right now and I love, love, love Wompy but I gotta do this with somebody who's as committed to it right now as I am and that's totally okay if he's not, if he's not doing it as hardcore as I am. Someone on the Ning asked, and I'm sorry that I don't have your name in front of me right now. They asked if I if I um, still talk to Chris Kelly and if I told him about this. I haven't talked to Chris in a while, but I did email him to let him know what was going on with fitting it in and to thank him for all the work he's done in the past. Right now, I think the trainer thing is wonderful, but it's really it's really not something that's going to be relatable to everybody watching this. The idea is that if I'm getting into my life, so can you. And if I'm using a trainer, then I don't think that that's fair. One day use a trainer again. I don't know, but um. Right now, the idea is push, pushing all this into normal life so that you can follow it, too. So I do hope to bring Chris in maybe now and then um, on this channel, or maybe if he's busy with his life, bring in another fitness expert at a later date. Another person on YouTube asks, what, what do we think the best way is to approach somebody who is in your family and overweight to tell them that they need to lose? See, this is a very sensitive topic with me because I think that parents shouldn't do this with their kids until they are sure that there's not going to be an adverse reaction, until they're sure that they know how to present a very healthy lifestyle to them, until, until they're sure that the kid isn't going to get obsessed with weight. I really regret starting diets when I was 10. I really regret that because I think it, it, it set up my body in bad ways. Because I think it, it, it set up my body in bad ways. However, if you're talking about an adult, then I think that Honesty is always the best policy. You sit down and tell them, look, I care about you. I'm worried about you. Your health is an issue. I'll do it with you. Show them magazine articles. D don't, don't focus on losing weight, but tell them that you're, you really want them to be in your life longer and you, want, and, and you hope that they'll join you in getting more healthy. Because everybody can use to get more healthy. Do it with them. Don't just say you need to get more healthy. Don't, don't point a finger. Say, I need to do it too. I'm worried about your health, but I'm also worried about mine. Let's do this. So now that our first week is done, let's talk about next week. Next week, I want to work out three of the f three of the five work uh, weekdays. I did this week, but I feel like they were a little bit soft. I'm gonna start my running program again, which I will detail you guys on next week because Tuesday is my workout day. Well, John, I hope you see less of me next week. Have a great weekend and be fit.